Okay. So, yeah, 3.15. A lot of nerfs. A lot of nerfs. I'm not going into everything, not even close. Every other, like, YouTuber and streamer and, like, post on Reddit or, like, the main forums has been this horse. It's already dead. Here's my battle plan. Here's what I'm going to do. Whoops. Yeah, there we go. So, with these nerfs, initially I wanted to run five Quicksilver Flasks, but they nerfed Adrenaline. They nerfed Adrenaline from 20 to 30 percent increased movement effect, movement speed while affected by the flask, to like what six or eight percent. So what I'm gonna do, I want to see what drops in Kindling Orb. And I am going to place it on medium flasks. I'm going to get four medium flasks and I'm going to place it on there. And for those medium flasks, I want the ones where I get 20 additional maximum charges. That is my plan for flasks. I'm going to get one for bleed, freeze and chill, ignite, and shock. My fifth flask is going to be the divination flask, most likely, or maybe I might go clear silver. These flasks did bother me initially. I've given it a, I've given it some thought over these past few days. You know, I'm sick and tired of pressing flasks every four seconds, every three or four seconds for that movement speed buff. I'm sick of it. I'm tired of it. You know, I welcome the Enkailing Orb. I don't care if I go slower. GGG wants me to go slower. I'm okay with it. You know, Elementalists, we lost ailment immunity. Elemental ailment immunity. So, I'm fine with this. I just hope I can find four Enkailing Orbs because I'm SSF. That's it. That's it. So... Right over here, Golem Elementalists no longer provide increased damage per Golem. Ouch. Is that the Ascendancy? Or does that also apply to Golem Commander? Because if it's only Ascendancy with a Liege of the Primordial, okay. But if it's also Golem Commander, that's going to hurt. The Golem Buff Effect bonus on Liege of the Primordial now always provides 100% increased effective buffs grant by your Golems rather than scaling with Golem Count. Uh, so I'm going to take a 50% nerf from that because I run 6 Golems. Like, I've been changing my build on and off these past couple of days, and I, I'd rather have 6 Golems. This Ascendancy path was providing too much power and defense compared to other high investment Ascendancy effects. So it's now more heavily focused on the buffs granted by the golems rather than the generic effects. By changing the buff effect on Legion of Primordial, it creates less of a reliance on having main golems and makes it more powerful in cases where players want to use just a few instead of feeling forced to invest into maximum golems through various uniques. Okay. Yeah, I take some damage there. Okay. This hurts a lot. This hurts a lot. So they announced the Xana League mods during 3.15. And as you can see, Delirium Ritual, okay, cool. I'm not going to use those. In, in like trade, yeah, you guys are probably going to use them most likely. Me, no. Like 13 Chaos for a Ritual, I love Chaos. I absolutely love Chaos. But like 13... Chaos for Ritual? No. I'd rather just uh, spam uh, Haywork Hamlet uh, maps, you know, and get like a chance at Harvest and a chance at Ritual. I don't need a guaranteed. Not unless like, I get a mirror and then like, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I do want Ritual. Um, Nemesis, Domination, and Anarchy, Abyss, Fortune Favors, the Brave. It's like, I'm going to pass on all of that. All that I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be farming... Hayward Hamlet, Lex Proxima because of the passives, Lexa Joris for Alva, 
Glenn might be too... I might do a little bit of Glenn, Glenich, Cairn, or Cavern. I don't remember. Like, I'll have to see where my damage is because I don't have, like, POB, Path of Building, or, like, POE Ninja. I can't really play around with my build and, like, see where my damage is. So, yeah. I'll have to wait. I'll have to wait for tomorrow to see where I am at damage-wise. And I'll see, like, how well I can do current content. But, yeah. This hurts really badly for me. I loved having Harvest and Heist. I loved having Harvest and Heist. So that that's a big ouchie for me. Like these past uh, few days, I've been like farming as much uh, Heist as I can on maps just to stockpile before 3.15 hits. Now support gems. So previously, I had Fire Penetration, Elemental Penetration, and Combustion on my Armageddon brand with uh, you know some others however i took those off because i've been playing around instead i've been trying out controlled destruction and i'm trying to farm cyrus so i could get the awaken but you know ssf so i can't really i can't really guarantee it you know if cyrus drops it for me that'd be perfect but there's nothing also we're our spells are going to be costing a lot more mana. A lot more mana. And like my build was not prepared for this. So I had to correct for it. So I did my build to have more mana. So I'm like, I'm okay now. I'm okay. And if I need more, I can get more. It'll suck, but it's doable. It's doable. So from 130% to 150% for cost. And then we're going to be dealing 5% less from 49 to 44. And then, you know, 8% less critical from 100. And then no more increased cast speed. It's like, okay, okay. I really, and then I'm, I'm leveling mine up right now because I only started using it like yesterday, I think. I was just playing around with supports. Like, even though I don't use combustion, it's getting hit with the 20% increase for mana. Uh, I, I wasn't too worried about the Ignite from 49 to 25. That didn't really affect my build that much. It's losing 10% fire damage from 29 to 19. And it's losing 9% fire penetration. Second. Uh, awakened Elemental Focus. Fortunately, one of my past Cyruses did draw me this, so I'm actually using it right now. I had to use a ton of my uh, gems. Uh... The ones where we sacrifice high level gems and then we get EXP for it, like I had to use a bunch just to get it to level 5. So now it has 140% cost and reservation from 130. And then it's losing 10% increased elemental damage from quality. And it's losing 15% more elemental damage from 54. It hurts, but you know, everyone's taking a nerf from sports, so it's fine. It's okay. And then previously, like on my old elemental penetration, it was 32. Now it's 28. So that's happened. Also with Empower. Empower is one of the support gems that I replaced Combustion, Fire Penetration, and Elemental Penetration. So 15% increased cost and reservation. I'm like, cool, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me go Empower, let me go Empower. Perfect. And then Energy Leech. Ouch. Yeah. So from 39, it's down to 24 while leeching. And then on Full Energy Shield, it's 24 down to 14 and now it's a 10 percent increased mana so it's like okay okay so besides that let's go swift brand this one hurt so i didn't think they were going to affect swift brand but they did they absolutely did like i i thought this was going to be unchanged but damn it they they, they nerfed it previously 110 percent now it's 150 percent Ow, big ow. And then it's losing 20% activation frequency. So from 64 to 44. And now it's 65% less detached duration previously from 40%. I'm like, damn it. I really didn't want that to get nerfed. Okay, so I went over Swift Brand, Empower, Controlled Destruction, and Elemental Focus. The fifth one that I have is... Uh, 
shit. Oh, you know, no, it was energy leech. Yeah, yeah, that was the fifth one. Yeah, yeah. So that covers that. I can look at fire penetration really quick from 37 to 34. And then elemental, I think I already went over it. It was like 32 to like 28. Yeah, 32 to 28. I don't think I'm missing anything from that. So there's that. So next on my list, at series reflection, I think I have this 6,000 plus stack decks and I have three beauty through deaths right now. I've been veiling all of my tier 15 maps, hoping to turn them into the Veil Temple just so I can get more beauty through desks. Like, I so want at series reflection. What I'm scared, especially because they want ailments, like they don't want immunity to ailments anymore, I am paranoid and I hope I'm wrong. I pray that I'm wrong. I'm scared that they might make a series reflection legacy where they'll be like, hey, no more unaffected by curses. Because a series reflection is perfect for me. It's absolutely perfect for me. So not only do I get 60% increased movement speed, I get 40 to 60 intelligence, like up to 200 maximum energy shield, up to 30% all elemental resistance, hex reflection, unaffected by curses, and 15 to 20% increased effect of my curses. Everything about this shield is perfect for me. I've already accounted for the 130 decks. It's fine. Like, it's absolutely fine. I need to get the shield quickly. Like, I will open up the 6,000 stack decks as soon as I finish up grinding for all my contracts and blueprints. And then once the patch hits tomorrow and I see all these nerfs, I'm going to start farming for them, collecting more stack decks, and then I'll make a video and then boom. I'll see how many beauty through deaths I get and I'll see what other stuff I get. If I get really lucky, hopefully I'll get voices in like an Ed series reflection, but you know, we'll see, we'll see. Next. So, these are for gloves. My battle plan for gloves, because this can be a big part of my damage. I need to find a fracture from Harvest. I need to find two prefixes with maximum energy shield, tier 1. And it has to have five. Five total with uh, prefixes and like suffixes. And I need a fracture one of the energy shields. After that, I'm going to just reroll for defense on it until I get triple prefixes for energy shield that I want that are all tier one. And then I'm going to Eiling Slam it. They've changed Eiling Slams where it removes a mod. So I'm going to have five mods on it and then I'm going to Eiling Slam. Hope it hits a suffix. Really hope it hits a suffix. And then hope that I get a double from it because the one thing I want increase elemental damage if you dealt a critical strike recently I want this I want this it doesn't matter what other suffixes I get as long as I get that I'm fine if I get any of these if it hits any of these as well with like a two idling slam perfect that is perfect uh other than that it's just farm Farm a ton of harvest and hope I get lucky with the fracture boss and then like hope that fracture hits an ES. That's that's all I can say about that. That's all I can say about that. Next. If I get at series reflection, one of the belts that I'm going to be double corrupting is a baited breath. Baited breath is so fucking good, but like my current belt just has a ton of resistance. But with at series reflection and the resistances on it, you know... Like, I could replace my belt and go for that. Because I want this. It could be any one of these. Well, preferably the intelligence one. Like, dex and strength. No, I'd probably keep re-rolling. But intelligence and dexterity and strength and intelligence. Along with... Where are you? Maximum energy shield. I want to double corrupt into that. And bated breath are pretty easy to get. Well, they're easy to get during when I was heisting, but like we're losing heist at not losing heist, but like losing the ability to put it on any map, 
you know. So that hurts me a lot. That hurts me a lot. Other than that, let's go in game. Let me hide this because I don't think I need to talk about it anymore. Let me hide this. Okay, let me hide my game really quick because Path of Exile crashed. And I don't want you seeing any of my personal information. Okay, we should be okay now. Okay. Let me move this really quickly. Same with you. There we go. Okay. Okay. So, before, I was using combustion, elemental penetration, fire penetration. Oh yeah, I was going to mention these. I'll mention them in a little bit. But now, swift run support, empower support, awaken elemental focus. Once I get another one and it's like fully leveled up, I will... I'm going to be so scared Doriani's it, but I will Doriani's it. I'm willing to Doriani's it. But that's if Cyrus gives me a second one. Anomalous energy leech. Control destruction. I still need to get it to level 20. I still need Cyrus to give me an awakened version. And Armageddon brand. Now, my... My build is super desperate for sockets. So when PoE 2 hits, I will be using Divergent Precision. Just because of increased damage and also... The more buffs I have, it's perfect for me because I use Mantra of Flame. So 3 to 8 fire spell damage per buff on you. So it's perfect. Like, I want to have clarity and precision on. I don't have any sockets for it right now. I have no sockets for it. Previously, I was using one of these auras, but I had to bring on Summon Ice Golem just because I really wanted more critical strike chance. Because you know, controlled destruction reduces it. So I proc elemental overload a lot easier with Ice Golem. I proc it a lot easier with Ice Golem. Way, way easier. Way, way easier. So with what well, I was saying with Golem Commander. So I'm not sure if they're targeting Golem Commander because it's not on the Ascendancy. It's just a node outside of the Ascendancy. I'm really hoping they don't touch this because I'll still gain my damage, some of my damage back if they leave Golem Commander alone. Like I know they're absolutely touching Legion Primordial, Remo they're removing 25% increased damage per summon Golem and that 25 increased effective buffs by your Golems per summon Golem is turning to a flat 100, it's just 100%. And then like I have to keep this because you know huge quality of life plus one maximum number of summon golems and like after four seconds they're resummoned. I was playing around with not having Ellie Manster and I was playing around with Bastion. My golems are dying way too quick without being immune to elemental damage. I know I'm losing 35% chance to avoid elemental ailments per summon golem but I lose an additional golem and it's just like Eh, I'd rather have it on. I'd honestly just rather have it on. It's okay. It's okay. Like, the immunity to elemental damage is huge. Like, I need my golems alive. I absolutely need my golems alive. Like, I only have one Primordial Harmony right now. And I have th three Eminences on. One's over here. One's over here. Where's my last Eminence? So I have one, two, third. So I need to, I want to switch away from Eminence and I want to go into having four Primordial Harmonies just for the Summon Golems to generate 2% of their life. However, I need to double corrupt them. So I have four of them right now, but I need to double corrupt them and they have to have reservation. Otherwise I can't utilize them. They have to have reservation on them. It doesn't matter what the second one is, it's mandatory that they have reservation. Absolutely mandatory. So let me put you away. And then I've edited my item filter 
because I'm trying to collect the medium flask, light flask, so I can replace these. So, the unique flasks, a ton if not all of them, are becoming legacy as soon as 3.15 hits. Uh, Divination Distillate, I think it's going to be, correct me if I'm wrong, I'm not going to like check on the website for this. I think it's going to be like maximum 12% increased quantity of items. And I'm not sure the cap on rarity of items. But it's like, yeah, this is going to legacy. I've tried my hardest to like get it to 20% increased quantity. I've never gotten that once. Like I was doing the vendor re-rolling for uniques. Like I was collecting three and then selling them off. And then hoping like for that free divine that it would give me a 20% increased quantity. I've never gotten one. I've never gotten one. I've gotten 19, but it would, it would have like really bad like rarity. So I was like, okay, I'm, I'm going to keep this. I'm not going to be spending my divines. I'm not going to be spending my divines. I'd rather save this for Ad Series Reflection to get as close to perfect as possible. Like the divines are getting saved for that. They're absolutely getting saved for that. And I was talking about bated breath when I get Ad Series Reflection. So this one has 9% increased maximum energy shield. The second one with pride is worthless to me. However, I, as I said before, if I said that before, I'm collecting good energy shield ones, like with good intelligence and good maximum energy shield. The implicit doesn't matter because like I'm wiping it with double corrupt, but it's just like I'm collecting as many of those as possible. It's a good thing they're not super rare. So I'm trying to hit, as I said before, 10% maximum ES plus like intelligence and dex or intelligence and strength percent on them. That's the goal for that. That's absolutely goal for that. Uh, I don't think I have anything else to say. Like, besides the flasks, besides like the chain support gems, like, besides like the sack decks, like, I'm really hoping, oh yeah, I gotta make a video after this. Like, I made two other videos explaining this, but I didn't like them. Like, I'm hoping I don't have to make another one. Like, I I'm pretty sure I'm gonna like this. But it's like, okay, bam, let's just say like 5,600. And then, bam. So, each of these, oh shit, wait, what the fuck? Oh, no, 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 yeah, yeah, that was correct, that was, no, 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 that's stupid of me. No, I meant to do it right over here, there we go. Each of these is 240. So 480, that's 500. So I have 6,100, like almost 6,200 uh, stack decks right now. Almost, almost. And then like, I've been just collecting contracts as much as possible with the Xanamod. Like, I've been trying to run as many as possible, as many as possible. But yeah, like, this video is going up first, and then I'm going to do a stream drop. This is super old. I've been collecting over, like, three or four long streams. Probably three long streams. And it's just like, yeah, I gotta empty this. I gotta empty this. Alright, I think I'm gonna end it here. Is there anything else that I want to say? I covered flasks, like, I'm gonna have four medium life flasks. I covered the support gems I did. Like, even though I'm missing two levels on controlled destruction, here's my Armageddon brand's damage at the moment. Like, I know I don't have the exact damage, like, if I use Path of Building, but like, here's my current damage. I'm really hoping it doesn't dip far below, like, 30k. Like, I'm really hoping with all these nerfs, like, if it goes to, like, 25k and above, I think I might be okay. I think I might be okay. I'll see how Armageddon Brand feels after the nerfs, though. I'll see how it feels. Because doing Alva and Glenich Cairns, like, you know, to level up Alva's temple, like, I'm already running him white. And I'm already struggling on like maintaining enough time to kill the architect and open things up. 
Like, it depends on how many magics and rares spawn. Like, I do the first two of my Alva Temples in Lexajors. Not only for the Veil of Flesh Merchant, it's just a huge loot explosion. It's absolutely a huge loot explosion. It's like, I, I'm well aware that I can level up a level 1 room to level 3 in Glenich. But it's just like, I'd rather level, I'd rather do two Alvas in Lexajors first. Like, change the rooms to the ones I want, and then hopefully get a bunch of them to level 2. So when I go to Glen, I'm not punished for switching a room. Like, I'm not punished for it. So if, like, I have a crappy level 2 room from uh, Ajoris, and I go over here, it's like, Hey, we're gonna give you Atsuri, or we're gonna give you the Locus of Corruption, or we're gonna give you a Timeless Monolith, or a Breach. It's like, hey, I could turn that to level 3. Perfect. Nice. Very nice. Because turning a level 1 room to level 3 is such a pain in Glen. It's such a gamble. It's just like, oh, shit. Shit. But yeah. Hayward Hamlet, like, because of the no heist on Xanamods, I'm going to be farming a fuck ton of Hayward Hamlet for, like, harvest. Fuck ton. Hayward Hamlet, also for Ritual. I love Ritual. I love fucking, like, harvest. Hell yeah. That's what's going to happen. I'm going to farm a fuck ton of Lex Proxima just because of harvest. Just because of harvest. Fucking love harvest. It's... It's how I improve my items. It's absolutely how I improve my items. And then, like, I'll do Valdo's Rest for fun. Even though Eileen's getting nerfed, I love... I love Katarina's sound so much. Like... I, I don't really care about Harbingers that much. They're cool. I mainly do this for the Immortal Syndicate. Like, fuck, I love the Immortal Syndicate. And I'm not... I'm terrible at, like... I tried maxing out the Blights over here. They kicked my ass. I'm too weak for it. I'm too bad at, like creating a uh, good uh towers it's just uh, either i need to read a guide on getting better at it and i need to anoint my rings because my rings are not anointed like there's no anoints on them no anoints and then if i have mana issues because i'm at 237 mana right now like there's things that i can do so my anima stone is not that good right now. I'm not going to take it out, but it's really not that good. So I have I have two options that I can get on Nema Stone. One, keep re-rolling it until I get fire penetration or elemental penetration. But like the thing I want is 1% reservation. Because if I can get 1% reservation on the Nema Stone, my mana will shoot up. I'll have no mana problems. No mana problems. Like for casting, doesn't matter how much reservation they put on like support gem. Well, it does matter, but like I'll have plenty to, to eat it. I'll have plenty to eat it. It doesn't even matter. Next, if I can't get a double corrupt on Nima Stone that'll help me, I can remove Ash, Frost, and Storm, and I will lose a lot of damage. I will lose a lot of damage, but I could put it over here into mana, mana, mana regeneration, and curse concoction. I can't remove a curse when you use a mana flask because I'm going for life flask for a different reason. But like, I do get like a 10% increased effect of my curses if I spent 200 mana recently. Like, I could absolutely put it there, or I could. Oh wait, I ooh yeah, I can't do that anymore. I I removed that option. So, oh, don't even worry about that. I removed that option. So, forget about that. But the reason why I'm going for Life Flask is Solo Rathal. I can't say it. I'm sorry, I can't say this. I can't pronounce it. Life Flask gain three charges every three seconds if you haven't used a Life Flask recently. I don't care about the captured Gorillas Will Thief. So I may, I'm mainly going to use this in bosses if I need it. So with the enkindling orb, hopefully it's easy to get, like... Bleeding. Chill, freeze. Ignites. And shocks. Brittle. Sap. Scorch. I'm going to have those life blasts automatically remove it. Automatically. 
in like regular maps and bosses, I don't have to worry about this. It'll automatically remove and like I'll kill enough monsters that the charges will just go up. It's not going to be an issue. However, for like bosses or future bosses, it's going to be like, hey, there's no monsters to kill to recharge, uh, to get the charges back. If I need to, let me go over here and every time I lose, I lose a flask to like remove an ailment, I'll just get it back. It's fine. It's not that big of a deal. Like, like I'm fine with losing the speed. Like with adrenaline, with the adrenaline nerf, like, where is it? Yeah. Suffix modifier of adrenaline, like losing 30% increased movement speed during flask effect, that hurts so much. Like even just using a regular Quicksilver, like it's not even that big of a difference. Without adrenaline, it's not even that big of a difference. I'd rather have a life flask on that has more charges. Like that could be like regenerated during like a boss battle. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I don't think I have anything else to say. Like I'm really looking forward to PoE 2. Um, I'm okay with all the nerfs that coming along. I read uh, Chris Wilson's Reddit posts and I'm okay. I was okay before that. It's just like no one was really anticipating these nerfs. Increased mana costs, the support gen nerfs. We didn't realize the extent of that. Elementalist got hit hard and I don't know which others got hit hard like I, I only have to worry about what I hit got hit with because you know there's so many builds out there they did a lot of nerfs but like they want slower gameplay okay that's okay you know you win GGG I'm getting rid of my Quicksilver flasks I'm getting rid of all of them in in exchange for not having to deal with uh, ailments like you win you win it's okay i don't have to press flash every like three or four seconds like playing while mapping it means i'm gonna like complete maps less or less quickly and like i'm gonna get less loot from heists but it's fine not having to deal with flasks outside of like divination distill lit it's okay i just hope that i could farm like those orbs at a reasonable pace in SSF. That's all I wanted to say. Um, uh, I'm going to create the stream drops video. Sorry it's so late. Like, dude, with these patch notes and manifesto, so much has been going on. Like, I've everyone's been like rushing to like fixer builds or like they're in panic mode i've been trying to like farm up contracts blueprint blueprints it's just like i haven't had time to worry about this video i have not had time but i'm gonna get it done i'm gonna get it done right now you'll see this first probably maybe i don't know i don't know